Fans of the Great Devourer, we've got an awesome Tyranid Swarm for you guys to check out today. These guys are super hungry and they're ready to eat everything in their path. This project has been completed by Mailit, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, the whole Tyranid force has been painted in the Hive Fleet Hydra colour scheme. Now our client has requested that they are slightly less blue. High Fleet Hydra tends to have a bit more of a bluish hue to it. These guys are way more on the purple side, which I really do like, and I think it fits the overall force really well. This vast swarm comprises of a whole host of Tyranid favourites. We've got loads of Hormigants, that's 40 of them. We've got 40 Termigants, we've got a load of Gargoyles, three Carnifexes, a Turvigon, a Morlock, an Exocrine, a Flying Hive Tyrant, and then to finish off, what Tyranid Force would not be complete without some Warriors? So let's jump in and have a look at this awesome army of Tyranids. Uh, and where better place to start than with the Flying Hive Tyrant? Now, every Tyranid Force needs a Hive creature to lead it. Uh, Mate has done an exquisite job on all the little details on this chap, including the little bits of sinew on these uh, maroon or purple wings, all really highlighted, extremely sharp and really refined. Uh, a great overall execution and use of colors as per our client's request. Something that I really do like that's really subtle on the miniatures, but we've got this really good effective use of a vibrant green, a great contrasting color to the purple using a great, great use of color theory there by Maylet, um, but really well done. Obviously all the teeth, eyes, details and everything all fully picked out as you'd expect with us here at Siege. Sharp refined edge highlighted on all the areas of detail. I absolutely love the, uh, the, the, the use of the sort of desaturated base with this color scheme. Not the most vibrant of color schemes. I think it really makes the the army look very sort of uh, ominous and uh, sort of imposing, but I love the desaturated base tone with that Steel Legion drab base room as well, just obviously just there, just to finish off. It's almost very similar to the box art kind of style of basing choice. Now next, we're gonna talk about probably one of the most important bio forms in a Tyranid Force. You can't forget the Humble Ripper. Uh, and this army has got a nice set of four bases of them. So even with the smallest models that we have in this army, the Maid has done an amazing job of putting four tension on all the sort of details across these little rippers all the edges on the carapaces, the tongues, the teeth, the eyes, all those things that make these models just as important in your force and the quality of them being the same as the rest of the army. So there's four bases of rippers in this force. Let's jump across to something a little bit different. So let's have a look at some of the gargoyles. Again, a really great set of models for the Tyranid Force. Really fast, lots of shots. Um, and again, the same exact amount of attention and detail put on these miniatures as the rest of the models on the force, which is great. Um, you've got that lovely sort of crimson magenta on these wings again. So really, really nice use of those tones and colors just to add interest to those sort of parts of the miniature. Again, all the teeth and the tongues and the eyes and everything all fully painted. And all the carapaces done really cleanly as well. So that's the, the great set of gargoyles that we have in the force. Uh, and something that has been a real mainstay of the Tyranid sort of faction for a very long time, we've got the Carnifex. Now, I absolutely love Carnifexes all the way back to second edition and the Screamer Killer. Uh, and seeing it obviously again released recently, the Viathan is an awesome thing, but the classic uh, Carnifex, the plastic kit that's been around for quite some time, still holding up really well. And again, you can see that really great use of a subtle green on some of the nodes and things on that on that kind of effects, his arm there, for example, uh, just to add that sort of really vibrant sort of contrasting green to the purple. But again, really sharp refined highlighting done on every aspect, every single tooth fully painted, fully picked out, the teeth, as I mentioned, all done, the tongue all highlighted, everything you'd expect with us here at Siege on the quality levels that we offer uh, has been done on this awesome, awesome kind of effects. And there are three of them in the army as well. So a really great backbone unit for this tier force. So as I mentioned earlier, there's a whole swathe of tiny little griblies in this army and we've got 40 termigants, another great unit pumping out loads of shots for your army. But again, 40 of them in this army, all of them have been painted to the exact same consistent finish with everything fully done on them. So we've got obviously every bit of carapace, every bit of skin, all fully highlighted, fully painted through multiple stages. Again, that lovely green spot color just on the sort of on the, on the guns that they've got. All the teeth, eyes, everything all done on them and some really sharp, consistent highlighting across every aspect of the miniature, which is just really phenomenal. And again, it's a lot of miniatures on this side of the army, but there's 40 termigants that are just gonna run at you and cause a lot of trouble. 
So moving from the, the Termagants onto another really iconic Tyranid model, which we've got the Warriors. Again, I really love Warriors. Great selection, different weapon loadouts that you can have on them. But uh, but just from the painting side of things, it's a great opportunity for us to use different things, obviously on the weaponry, for example, and also on the swords as well. So a great use of sort of black for the swords, which I really like. Makes the weapons look quite menacing as well, which I think is quite cool. Adds a lot of tonal variance between the skin, and it kind of ties in with that the swords being made potentially of the same sort of material as the carapace that the Tyranid has, which is just really cool. But again, an exquisite set of warriors in this army. Really do love them. I think they're super menacing and really imposing. You've got six in this force, which is just great. Uh, from the warriors, we're going to jump across to probably one of my favorite Tyranid bioforms, which is the Humble Hormigant. So as I mentioned, there's 40 of them in this force, really great set of models. This is the classic uh, Hormigant model. So it's not the new ones from the Leviathan, but these do still hold up really well, especially with the super crisp paint job that we've got on the miniature. Again, exactly the same consistency throughout the force. Everything is really refined. Everything is really sharp, really well painted, really well highlighted as you expect with us here at Siege but just a great set of models. And it gives our client a massive set of troops to choose from when it comes to different size forces. Again, you've got the 40 Hormigants and 40 Termigants, as I mentioned. So jumping from the Hormigants onto another model, which I really do absolutely love, which is the Turvigon. And uh, the mother of all the little beasties, let's put it that way. Again, where to even start with this? Because there's so much carapace and so much detail work that is on this. You've got obviously the, the, uh, the sort of birthing sack that's underneath, which has been done again in that really, lovely crimson color as you can see just from the side view of the model do absolutely love the way that it's been highlighted and really subtly toned to show that stretched kind of the weight of the, what, what she's carrying. You've got all the blades and claws and things done again in that black, which I think ties in really well with the rest of the weaponry on like the swords and the claws, for example, really makes all those sort of blades and things look very, very menacing, which I think is great. I love the use of that crimson again on just that kind of tongue spike again, which is just awesome. The eyes on this creature done obviously in a really refined green using that lovely spot color again, just to add that vibrancy seeing that interest to that part of the miniature, which I think is just phenomenal. Uh, but overall, highlighted really sharply. Again, really lovely, consistent execution across every aspect of the miniature. Uh, and that's this awesome Turbigon. Moving on to another big bug, we have the Morlock. Uh, it pops up like a jack-in-the-box. Great model um, and obviously really good in-game. Uh, again, same exist consistent approach, but obviously you've got some more splashes of that green colorway on the uh, on the model, which I think is great. You've got all these nodes and things just on these on these sort of um, prone kind of arms are ready to pounce, which I think is great. Really adds a lot of vibrancy to that specific area of the miniature, which is great. And again, you can see all the claws and everything done with that black with a super refined highlighting that we've got across the model. Um, I do love this miniature so much. I think it really emphasizes the aggression of the Tyranid faction, which I think is great. That massive maw with all the teeth and everything, as you can see there, which is just lovely. So that is the, uh, the Morlock. Then we have uh, the main shooting aspect of this force, or the most powerful shooting aspect of this force, which is the Exocrine. And uh, I think it's a really good place to, to finish up on the army and show you the last model from the force, which is, as I said, the Exocrine. Start, starting again with that green colorway just on those almost eyes that are on, on the end of the gun. I think that's quite cool. And uh, the mate's done a great job of picking out the little pupils on those eyes as well, which is just brilliant. Love the use of the color. So the purple on the main weaponry, the black of the carapace and that more sort of lilac -y, desaturated purple that's just been used on the, uh, the actual flesh work of this. Again, you've got all the teeth and everything fully painted. It looks extremely aggressive, uh, very menacing, which I, again, one of my favorite things about the Tyranid faction is just how aggressive they do look. Um, and again, really cleanly executed, which is something that, again, really pulls the force together, gives you something you can be super proud of on the tabletop. Um, and again, just great in a cabinet as well. So that completes this Tyranid Swarm showcase. I do hope that you've liked it ever so much. These guys are now off to go and consume everything in their path. If you've liked this video, then do us a huge favor and give the video a thumbs up. Comment what your favorite high fleet is. It's always great to hear from you Tyranid lovers in the comments. And if you do like this army and would like to get something completed by us as a commission, head to the website, which is linked in the description of this video. From all the team here and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video. I hope you've liked it ever so much and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.